Coronavirus is probably not the first word you expected to hear at the start of your typical Vanguard video, but here we are. So coronavirus has probably been something you've been talking about, your parents have been talking about, your boss has been telling you to work at home because of, and it's had different effects on certain markets and things like that because of, you know, just how fastly it spreads. Now, obviously it is a very dangerous thing all over the world, but certain countries are taking certain precautions and I think it's going to become a pattern all over the world in the sense of simply canceling events in which a lot of people are gathered in public and therefore there is a highest chance of it transmitting. Now, this has led the Japanese government to actually force all event organizers to cancel all events and also for quite a few schools to be canceled as well for the forthcoming month simply because the risk of infection is too high. And so because of that, all card game events have been canceled for March at the very least. In Japan, this has not been in Europe or uh, Asia or in America yet, but we will see what Bushiro chooses to do with upcoming Spring Fests because that is a very likely place of transmission as well. But because of this uh, announcement from the Japanese government, a not just, you know, the, the WGP-esque events that got cancelled or, you know, the VGCS ones, but also local tournaments. And so for card shops, this is a pretty big deal because, you know, their main source of revenue is the sales, but a big source of revenue is just the tournaments that they do basically every single day for different card games. And while this, you know, tournaments in Japan are quite cheap, they're like 200 yen, 300 yen per entry, which is about two to three dollars. And so it's not that much, but when you get like 20, 30, 40 people per tournament every single day, obviously it adds up. And when you're just charging them and giving them a few promos in exchange, that is, you know, relevant revenue and people playing in your shop does bring you business. However, thanks to the uh, announcement by the government, shops have had to close their dual spaces and essentially tell people to Go, just go home or you know sh stop shop and go because they are not allowed to stop anymore because these things are just banned and events are simply banned and people are not allowed to gather in these places in Japan anymore. Again, this is not the case all over the world just yet, but it could potentially become such a thing. So how do we deal with this? I mean, this is a big problem for the entire card game industry, not just Vanguard, because card games thrive on events and simply, you know, being able to gather players in one place, whether it's for competitive, cases or simply for people to hang out and exchange ideas and have fun with their usual friend circle. So with this happening, Bushro decided to hold a emergency press conference in which they announced several things. The first thing of which, which is being praised by a lot of card shops and people in Japan as a whole, is that Bushro will be dedicating 20% of all revenue that they make from Vanguard Zero to card shops. Now because card shops are losing out on all this revenue and losing out on just a lot of business and you know Japan as a whole is like potentially entering recession soon because of you know how much they rely on tourism as well but that's a different topic but because the card game business and card shop businesses are taking such a fat hit thanks to the coronavirus Bushrod has decided to give 20% of all of their earnings from Vanguard Zero to back to the card shops that they are partnered with and this is essentially all the big chains in Japan. So they are partnered with every big chain. They kind of had them all announce their support for Vanguard a couple of years ago. And so this is, you know, basically the majority of card shops all over Japan. And so obviously this is a great thing and a lot of card shop owners are very happy about it. And I think it's very great because now people are kind of incentivized in a way to spend a bit on the game because even if it's not so much to just for the sake of spending, it's also just to support, you know, the business that they love, the industry that they love, and the hobby that they are so passionate about, because it directly will go back to those card shops and keep them alive in case they weren't in a good standing. And if you're wondering how this happens, I mean, essentially when you buy crystals in Vanguard Zero through your phone, you know, that you can use to, whether it's stamina resets or tournament mode or for opening packs, that 20% of what you're spending on the game will go back to those card shops. Obviously how it's distributed, we don't know, but that's still a very big thing that will help those businesses. And now a lot of those card shop owners, not only are they celebrating, but they're also thinking, what will the other card game companies respond with? Because these card game companies have, you know, they, they are just as important as Bushra Road, but Bush Road made a move and the others didn't. Now the other thing that they uh, promoted outside of just you know anything related to Zero is essentially that first things first they are distributing masks to all of their uh, any worker related 
to the card game business so you can see this here from this one news article that i can link in the description but also on top of that they launched a thing called Bushiroad Remote Fight that essentially will come together with just playing Vanguard at home. So Bushiroad Remote Fight is a very interesting response to the situation thanks to the novel coronavirus. And so basically what it means is Remote Fight is sadly not a new game, not an online uh, server for Vanguard. However, it is essentially a way for players to play online without having to gather at card shops and still be able to earn PR goods. So how this works is, Remote Fight is essentially a Discord server where they have a bot that allows you to be matched with random players and then when you match with them during certain events that they do on the Remote Fight server, you basically take a screenshot that you participated in that event, you take that screenshot to a card shop and you get that month's promos or that week's promos, etc. So because they have monthly shop promos and they're not going to stop distributing them, them just like that, they basically found a way to still let people play, still let people be active in the game and still promote promote their product and the sale of it without having to endanger all the players that would have that would otherwise you know gather at tournaments and things like that and that's a really great way to make them still be able to play and all they really need is a webcam and a computer that can run discord so that is honestly very great and so basically remote fight it is a discord server which essentially when you enter you get to um, react to a message saying which games you, you play and then you have different parts of the server where you just add fight which is a bot which matches you basically it says that someone is looking for a game and then it matches you with whoever else is looking for games and therefore you're able to just play it out you call each other you play on your webcam you have a good game and then also the bot decides who goes first and second and now first when they launched this server this remote fight they did it with just Japanese, but then considering that a lot of English people saw that and joined it and Discord is a very Western based thing as a whole, uh, they made an English site to it too, which you can find by just scrolling down and the matching bot works in English as well. Obviously, if you do speak Japanese, I highly recommend to try to mingle with the Japanese folks as well, because this is a perfect chance for international and intercultural exchange. And therefore, it is very beneficial, but please do be well mannered. Don't go around just being rude to people or, you know, just stepping into the Japanese side without speaking Japanese because that is considered very rude. So if you are able to speak Japanese, I really recommend stepping into the Japanese side, but if you don't, it's better to stay on the English side. And there are some Japanese folks that speak English that do, you know, mingle in between as well. So this is a pretty nice thing. The other thing I really like about it is that as we've always known, there are quite a few places in the world where Vanguard is simply inaccessible and, you know, there's no card shops, no nothing. And so this is another way for them to be able to enjoy the game without having those shops and still being able to, you know, mingle with new players, meet new players and things like that. So I hope that this idea does keep being used even after the coronavirus situation calms down because I think it is pretty nice in that sense. So not only do you get to play, you get to interact with a bunch of different players. They support all kinds of formats actually. It's very interesting for Vanguard. They have not just premium and standard, they have extreme, they have a limited fight, which is essentially where you use just low rarity cards and then they have a Vanguard zero section as well, obviously. But so this is really interesting. And so they're also saying that they really want to support uh, video creators for Vanguard as well. I'm not sure how they're planning to do that, whether it's maybe people that are making videos for the Remote Fight. No, this is not a sponsored video, but I simply wanted to explain what Remote Fight is because people have been seeing that picture, you know, just floating around and wondering what it is. And I think it's definitely justified because it is, you know, it looks like something big and it is quite big in a sense, but it's not something that's insane like a new game or something. It's simply a server where you're able to still enjoy the perks and it's Bushroad's answer to coronavirus as in a way or the, the situation that coronavirus throws at them so i think honestly it's a very great uh, move i especially like the fact that they're giving 20 percent of their their um earnings from zero into the card shop business because right now they really are struggling with this because of just the fact that the government has forced them to cancel all events shut down dual spaces and everything like that and therefore that's just the situation that things are in and you know it's very nice of bushro to be able to support card shop so much and it really goes to show that they do care about their communities and the fact that they want to support them now whether the western side of bushro will respond like this with the english release of zero and then you know if coronavirus gets worse worldwide we shall see but for now if you do play the japanese version and you spend your spendings will actually go back to the japanese card shops and i think that is you know already a good feeling to have that you're not just wasting money on jpegs you're actually giving back to a very relevant and close to home and close to heart industry that we all depend on so this was today's video i simply wanted to talk about the remote fight 
that exists because I think it is very interesting and a good concept and overall Bushwa's strategies to counter this terrible situation are honestly very very good and I definitely support them. So I recommend that you also join the Remote Fight Discord, it's a great place to interact and find new friends and talk to people whether it's in English or Japanese and there's also you know there's places for uh, finding your games, there's places where you can introduce yourself uh, in Japanese sadly only but I mean if you can copy paste in Google Translate you can do that too but I think it's overall a great place to be, so I definitely recommend that you do join that and support this initiative by Bushroad as well. So, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to the channel members for joining as well. If you wanna become one yourself, then please feel free to click the join button next to the subscribe button, it means a lot. So, that's gonna be it for me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.